Well, today we have Andrew Brooks here. He is chef and the owner of Spirited Food Company, and he works with P. Terry's, and we're honored to have the man behind P. Terry's himself, Thank Patrick you. Terry, Thank you. joining us about uh, what you can make at home, a good, simple recipe. Welcome to both of you. Thank you so much Thank for you. being Thanks here. Thank you. Thanks for having me. These veggie burgers are selling like hotcakes. Right. We sell about uh, 1,200 veggie burgers every day. Wow. Uh, we make them fresh in our commissary, and we do it uh, because of Andrew's great recipe. Okay, let's start with some of the ingredients that you have ready okay. for us. So there's different components to this burger, and the first one we're going to talk about is the uh, the grain mix, Okay. which that's kind of the base of the, of the burger. Uh, it starts with um, brown rice, Okay. and then once that's cooked for a while, it started to get soft, we also have some bulgur wheat and some oats, mm -hmm. and so that will all go in along with a little bit of salt and some oil okay just to make sort of a grain peel off and so that's going to go and as soon as that's soft and cooled down it'll look like this so this is the grain mix and you can Got see the, the the texture which that was important to us to have good texture in the veggie burger right interesting flavors and it had to be really really delicious so all this is in the pursuit of all of that, especially deliciousness. And then you have some black beans here. and Yes, we also have mushrooms and, and onions, which we'll process into a paste, and that's another component. And the black beans, and there's also fresh parsley, cheddar and mozzarella cheese, and a little bit of egg, and that all goes together to, to make the veggie burger. All right, Patrick, um, you guys have opened how many locations here in the Austin area? We just opened number seven last week okay. at Mopac and Palmer by St. David's, and we're going to open our eighth at uh, the end of the year on 183 North, mm -hmm. uh, close to the catfish park. So people not only know P. Terry's for its good food, but we were just talking about how you it's important for you and your family to give back to the community. Yes, yes. My wife uh, started a giving back program uh, about a year after we opened mm -hmm. and to date we've uh, donated almost three hundred thousand dollars back to the community we we do uh, four times a year we give all of our profits um, from a day sales uh, they go directly a uh, hundred percent directly to a, a various charities in Austin that what we do in the kitchen from Andrew's recipe literally takes hours yeah I mean we, are, yes. we, 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 we go into great depth with everything and it's and it's much more of a commitment than most people are going to want to make for six to eight veggie burgers. oh I get it yeah, yeah. I've been to a lot of your <laughs> locations yeah, so that. this is the finished product over here right right we've got okay. it over here um, the veggie burger comes uh, we recommend it you can on a on a whole wheat bun and uh, comes with a slice of cheese. Uh, we use uh, locally grown uh, tomatoes mm -hmm. and some uh, some lettuce, and then of course we put a, we put some of the special sauce on it that oh, I can't I can't tell you the what, secret sauce. Yeah, I can't tell you about that. Okay, so. can't give away all the secrets. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you both for being here, and sure. uh, we look forward to talking to you on your next lo location that you're going to open. Thanks up for soon. having us today. Okay.